Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to the next lecture, uh, Advanced Computer Architecture. Today our topic is Secondary Storage Devices. So far in this course, uh, we uh, started from memory hierarchy. So on the top of memory hierarchy were register, then cache, and then main memory. So these were fast test memory of the data uh, from main memory to the computer and the processor. So the everything was like a running computer. But if we need some uh, permanent storage, we need to save the data on a permanent storage. Such storage is called secondary storage. So there is no uh, uh, big technical issue in today lecture is just like a history and we will talk about some size and names and uh, history of different types of secondary storage uh, devices and how the files are stored and organized on these uh, such type of secondary device usually for example uh, okay let's start uh, we have videos and large size and uh, we have large size of files such as text, audio, uh, or images. So we uh, we need uh, high storage, a large uh, storage device. So such storage are called secondary storage. Okay. Generally, we have uh, two major uh, types of uh, storage. One is called primary storage, like main memory, for example. This uh, uh, primary storage is near to the uh, processor or CPU. It is volatile. Volatile means when we you switch off your computer, the data in the primary memory will loss. And it's temporary, temporary means in both have same meaning. It loses all of its contents when power to the system unit is shut up. Okay, when we shut up our computer, the data is uh, lost. On the other hand, the secondary storage is non volatile, permanent. Writing is the process of saving information on the uh, main uh, on the secondary storage and reading is accessing data on the uh, secondary storage. Okay, the main characteristics of secondary storage. What are the main properties? So the first one is media. Actual uh, physical material that holds the data on the memory. Which type of uh, media is it? For example, it is a compact disk. So the type of media is important. Capacity. For example, how much data can it hold? For example, my hard disk is 100 JB. Or uh, a compact disk CD is, for example, 5 GB. So, such uh, the capacity, the size. Storage device. It's a hardware that reads data from the uh, storage media. One is media, and the second one is the device that reads uh, data from the storage. Media and X speed. It is the measurement of the time required by storage device to retrieve data and program. How data is received or uh, accessed from the uh, storage device this is called X speed, the rate at which the data is retrieved from the 
secondary uh, from the storage device okay so these are types of secondary storage uh, magnetic media which includes tape and discs optical media which includes compact discs such as cd roms uh, and dvd is another type so dvd r and dvd r w r mean dvd r means dvd recordable and r w means rewritable this is only once written and this is uh, written can be written again okay uh, in the next uh, slides we have the abbreviations of uh, cd compact disc and dvd etc uh, and this rrw so you can see it in the next slides okay fluffy discs now these are different types of disks they use magnetic charges to record data and are inexpensive removable and uh, inexpensive and removable uh, nowadays fluffy disks uh, are never used but this is just the general properties of fluffy disks another one is optical disk use reflected lights to record data and have very a large storage capacity like cd uh, and dvd and this one is hot disks uh, use magnetic charges to record data have large storage capacity and fast retrieval okay next okay uh, the next uh, uh, is magnetic tape so magnetic tape uh, a, thin, a thin layer of material capable of storing magnetic signals is a thin, thin layers of materials usually it contains iron oxide to stir which can store uh, data and it is protected by baking layer called substrate Example of uh, magnetic media are cassette tapes, CHS, video tape, computer tape, and date, etc. And these are some advantages and disadvantages. For example, inexpensive to storage amount when permission a tape could store such as 225 MB in 19. 80 no other storage technology could compare to this price so from the start this has low low cost and uh, but this is sequential in the read uh, and axis so it's slow because we have you like example you are going from 0 to 200 location so you are going from 0 1 2 3 4 so it is slow uh, and suspected to um, to humidity and temperature can change uh, make uh, can disturb uh, this devices and also susceptible susceptible to physical damage means not highly reliable to in temperature and humidity Today, uh, we use tape based system uh, for just for backup only because these are cheap and uh, but we have to keep it away from high temperature and humidity otherwise it can go to damage. Okay, hard disk. Most people use hard disk for secondary storage. 
the basic technology used in hard disk is similar to that of magnetic tape magnetic tape material is glued into high precision aluminium disk the disk head can move to any point on the platter almost instantly compared to the tape with tape the head touches the tape with disk the head never touches the uh, tape moves approximately 5 cm per second whereas disk platter at up to 7 500 cm per second I mean this disk are very fast to increase capacity hard disk will usually contain several platters multiple platters simple the head never touches the platter but they are very close this makes the hard disk susceptible to mechanical shock okay this is uh, important here you can see each platter is divided into tracks and sectors the circles we, we see the circle these are called tracks then each circle each track is divided into sectors these are sectors for example this is one sector this is another sector so this is just a general structure of the hard disk okay sectors are further uh, broken into blocks and to blocks for example uh, Usually we have uh, 5 to 12 bytes per block. So block size is 5 to 12 or 10, 24 byte size or 20, 48 byte size which is used in CD and CSI disks. So these, uh, these are important terms. What is meant by sectors blocks okay blocks and files okay if a file takes up multiple blocks it is necessary to keep track of which block comprise that file each block is assigned an address the location of file is stored in a file called file uh, uh, allocation table. So, what is meant by FET is file allocation table that keep the history or the track of the data stored on a disk. When hard disk is formatted, several blocks are reserved so that operating system can manage your files are stored on disk okay so thread generally it is used uh, to store directory here the file is stored and what is the name of the file and the system which take take uh, Care of these file system, uh, 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 file allocation table, and the file stores on the disk is called file system. File system defines how and where files are stored within or disks are a partition. Usually, when we install in the uh, operating system, we can see these terms: page 16 usually used in MS-DOS MIFET was usually used in Windows 95 FET32 Windows 98 and uh, recently NTFS and the uh, latest Windows similarly we have UFS used in Unix operating system X2, X3 and used in Linux operating system so these are different uh, file system used 
and different types of operating systems. Okay, uh, hard disk types. Uh, there are uh, three type, main types of hard disk. One is internal, one is external, uh, one is internal hard disk, one is hard disk cartridge, uh, cartridge, and one is hard disk pack. Internal hard disk just uh, fitted inside the uh, motherboard. Uh, a sensitive unit. It is not removable or portable, and have greater capacity. That is above 100 and past in excess speed. Hard disk cartridge is on other hand portable. Means you can remove it from the uh, system unit. Or the motherboard uh, and complement it helps to uh, increase the size of the internal hard disk. Uh, so these are some examples yes, for PC and these uh, uh, laptop computers. And, and the third one is hard disk picks uh, used in mainframe with high uh, size, large size. Yeah, it's also removable and multiple read write heads, issue storage and past exist times. So these are the three uh, different types of uh, hard disk. Okay, a fluffy disks uh, 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 have, are never used nowadays, just like a history of a disk where uh, initially it was introduced in 8 inches with 256k uh, uh, storage next one was the diameter was decreased and the storage was increased as usual usually we see the memory size the memory uh, physical size like inches the the space and volume is decreasing time by time and its capacity is increasing <laughs> the next generation was 355 inches meter and had to this only data so this was just a short history of floppy disk Types of floppy disk high high capacity known as floppy disk cartridge require specific uh, drive. Three well known types zip disk, uh, high high speed, and super disk. Okay, the next uh, uh, is optical media. Optical disks are very much like uh, hard disk. And uh, hard disk store information using magnetic material. And bits are stored by changing uh, magnetic property. For example, uh, up and down of magnetic. Up means one and down means zero. Uh, bits are read by uh, picking up tiny magnetic field with the red head. In optical media, we have like uh, magnetic uh, signals, so it is just read by a tape called uh, red head. It checks whether it is present or no. Optical disk stored information is a pitch in physical medium, and laser is used to determine if it is present or not. For example, pet present means 1 and not means 0. So it is uh, right sensed by laser. So the main difference is here uh, in magnetic disk is a magnetic uh, uh, signals and it is read by uh, uh, red edge. 
and in optical days these are fits and in physical medium for example the medium just like we make some holes like got it fits so how to read these or since then we use laser to read these fits it is three bit is present means one suppose and not it means you so this was about the optical medium next is this compact discs widely used uh, nowadays it from 650 b to 1 gb due to the size and rotation speed is its rotation speed is data transport time types are cd rom cd recordable this is read only memory and this is cd uh, recordable only once and read uh, re record rewritable okay compact disk read only memory cd rom cannot be written to or erased similar to commercial music cd like we use uh, commercial series in the market often uh, to distribute large data or reference compact disk recordable cd or uh, written to once custom made music cd like empty cd CD-R means empty CD, CD-ROM means a recorded CD, and CD-RW means you can write again and again. CD write uh, readable, visible CD ideal for multimedia presentations. DVD stands for digital versatile discs. Uh, repeatedly uh, replacing common CDs and because have higher capacity up to 17 times uh, and capacity greater than a common CD. DVD types include DVD ROM, DVD R, DVD, DVD ROM like CD ROM read only DVD. A recordable DVD like empty DVD, DVD RAM or DVD RW competing rewritable format. This is like uh, DVD RW. Okay, so this was all about the secondary storage. Uh, device. Thank you so much.